remember the first time I went to the Museum of Contemporary Art. I wasn't that impressed. I was confused. Like, this is art? Alexa, what's the temperature? In Chicago, it's eight degrees with partly sunny skies. It's another cold one out here. Yeah, we're a little nuts. Bus showed up quick. Going to the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art, the MCA, as the acronym goes. <laughs> A tour? No. A tour, she'll show us around. I remember the first time I went to the Museum of Contemporary Art. There was a couch made of meat. There was a wool suit hanging with a plaque that mentioned that the artist was going around the world eating this wool suit, ridding the world of the suit. I remember from that experience, I wasn't that impressed. I was confused, like, this is art? But now, years later, from being in positions of trying to stand out as a business, like the rest of us are, trying to make our businesses different from all the rest of the competition. I have a new respect for the artists that are at places like the Museum of Contemporary Art. They didn't last long. They left me. They might be in here somewhere. Now I'm searching for them. Artists who are trying to take a risk doing something crazy like meat couches and eating suits to do something that no one else has ever done before. If you're a fan of Monet and the Impressionists, back then, people were saying the same thing about them, that they were crazy and they were ridiculed. Today, we love them. It's an important thing to keep in mind when you find yourself ridiculing things that you don't understand or that's a little weird, because who knows, one day, maybe you'll adjust like I have and accept some things that you used to think were pretty weird. Is that cool?